All right, guys, we are back again with another episode of Kuroko no Basket. We got episode three here up and ready to go. So last episode, we met up with uh, Kisei. Kisei. Uh, Kisei Ryoka, I think. I, I did a little bit of research this time. I want to try to be better with character names. So yeah, we met up with like Kisei. He was having a little bit of beef with, you know, um, Kagami. Well, they had their own little private match and Kagami got wrecked. So, so yeah, I, I do appreciate the um, kind of the dynamic that's going on there, the rivalry. It's not like, you know, they hate each other. It's just like, damn, I want to beat you. I want to I want to show you up, that sort of thing. It, that goes for uh, Kuroko, too. He's in that same way. He's like, I want to beat this man. So let's beat this man. But no, I'm looking forward to the match that they go uh, like they're going up against his team, uh, Kisei's team. So I don't. I doubt that's happening this episode. I feel like that'll probably be in a few more episodes. That was just sort of like the hype, the lead up for it. So yeah, I don't know. I guess we're probably doing more practice. Maybe this episode we're meeting more characters from our team. I, I don't know. So I think just going to hop right into it and see what happens. Let's go. Truth Athletics. Yeah, what is this? Where's the new... Wait, are we going up against... Like, is this already the practice? <laughs> Man was so excited. Forgot to sleep. <laughs> He's like, oh shit, it's daytime. Oh God. <laughs> oh, Kuroko coming in with the beef. Damn. Are you telling me we're already going up against this dude? Bro, this is going very, very quick. I don't even I don't even know the names of any of the other teammates other than Kuroko and Kagami. Like I know we've heard them, but I don't know shit about them. Like I'm surprised. I'm stunned that we're already getting into this. Crying into my pillow. Damn. Man's got some feels for Kuroko. Are you selling it? Ooh. Ooh. Not mature enough. Oh yeah. He's like, I'm going to crush you. You have the guts to openly challenge me? Hmm. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, come on. Come on, it's me. That is, that is something that... I kind of confuses me. Maybe they explained it in the first episode and I just don't remember it. But uh, like are students allowed to be coaches? Every every sports team I've ever seen, every sports anime I've watched, every sports show I've watched, the coach is like, you know, a teacher, right? Is, is there some special reason that she's able to be, you know, the coach? I, like, I know that she's got all that knowledge. She's, her fucking dad is like the, whatever, the physiotherapy type dude. But still, I mean, like, pretty impressive to just all of a sudden, you know, have a student as a coach. Don't waste time. <laughs> Strip all your score. Ooh. Ooh. What was that? Oh, <laughs> she's like, oh, this smug bastard. Oh, hell nah. We ain't letting that shit slide. Taking that shit personally. What? No. Ah, uh, that's bullshit. Yeah, let's go. Let's show him. Go around saying you can beat me. Yeah, he's like, if you can't even beat these plebs, then how do you expect to go up against me? Yeah. Yeah. Kuroko's taking the lead. He's like, we don't got time for this. We'll get you in. Don't you worry. A pretty little hair on your head. Oh, <laughs> he's like, shit, where did you come from? <laughs> oh, 
decent. You'd think people would be like more worried about Kuroko, right? Like if if I was just chilling and it's like, oh, where's the fourth guy at? And then he just literally pops up out of nowhere. I'd be a little fucking scared. I'd be like, how the fuck did he do that? <laughs> like, we got to play against that? Like, how am I supposed to know where that dude is? Like, you'd think immediately they'd be like, shit, this might be a problem. Like, maybe they think it's a fluke. It's like, oh, wow. Didn't even notice him. Doesn't look good. Yeah, they're all good. See, they're close. Oh. Are we sure this is legit? Are we sure, like, she isn't just looking for an excuse for them to take their tops off? Are we 100% sure? <laughs> yeah, come on. Oh! <laughs> Damn! He was like, get that shit out of here! He's slow. Yeah? Well, watch this shit. Oh! Yeah, that's right. Mmm! Yeah, that's right. Didn't expect that shit. What was that, two seconds? Oh my god. Kagami. <laughs> yo, he's like, yo, I thought you were supposed to be in athletic school. This is shit. <laughs> and Kagami, he's just boasting about it. Oh, he's mad. He's like, how dare you? Oh yeah, let's go. Getting in the full thing, the legitimate thing. Fuck the cardboard shit up there. <laughs> oh, I'm sure, I'm sure the school will cover it. Oh, wow. Wow, man, that was easy. Coach is like, fuck this, I'm not messing around. Really, he's a monster, yeah, man. Don't get called a miracle for nothing. And the fangirls. Every time. What, they just know? <laughs> they get like the spider sense coming in. They're like, yo, I feel it. Kisei's on the court. Let's go. <laughs> Number 11. Right. Yeah, yeah. See, this is perfect, right? Everyone is so focused on Kagami that they really aren't giving Kuroko a second thought. Like, if he just thought about it for a second, he would know that the reason that they got that point, that Kuroko and Kagami got that point, was because of Kuroko, right? Like, Kagami, he's good. Maybe he could have done it himself. Kuroko took it, like, the entire court. But this guy, he's just thinking about the one who got the score, right? Who got the point, sorry. Who got the dunk in. And ripped the freaking like hoop off the <laughs> off the like backboard. So I mean, come on, it's it's good, but I really wish people would respect Kuroko more. It, it works in his favor that people underestimate him. But oh, okay, damn, okay, yeah, maybe this guy's a little uh, a little crazy. Maybe he's got a little bit of skill to him. <laughs> He's like, don't show off. Oh, he wanted him to break it? Shit. He's like, yeah, you don't weigh enough. I'm the big boy. You see all those burgers I eat? That's specifically to break the hoop. Ooh. Ooh, those passes. Don't break it. Don't break it, please. Okay. God bless. God bless. I swear, if he broke another hoop. Considering everything... That's a pretty, it seems so far evenly matched. I feel like probably our team won't win it because we do have Kuroko and we have Kagami, right? Those are the two main players or the stars of our team. These guys though, they're a much more coordinated, like athletically focused uh, team. Like their, their school is athletically focused, I mean. I have a feeling that probably we won't come out on top, considering it's only episode three. I know it's not a legitimate match, but still. And I have a feeling this early on, we might not get it. Even though, like, Kodoko is putting in some really good passes. Like, every time I see this man pass, he, it's mind-blowing. Because he literally just, like, the ball is coming, and he's just like, whoop. And it's gone in, like, a second. Not even a second. 
a friend says, yeah, man, it's a full on like offensive attack on both sides. Offensive attack. Does that, did that just sound like a bunch of bullshit? That might have just, <laughs> I guess any attack is offensive. To a fadeaway. Okay. Oh, okay, Kisei. He's like, I ain't letting that. Oh, and he copied him. Oh, shit, the disrespect. He's like, hey, I can do that better. <laughs> Taking a stole on my body. Oh, he's so weak. Damn. It's like, bro, I'm carrying you right now. Show some respect. The harder keeps saying, oh, yeah, they're feeding off of each other, right? And Kagami has his limits, too. Like, Kagami, he's just going to start getting stressed, right? He, We kind of know what his character is like. He, he'll he keep going, he'll keep going, he'll keep getting fired up, and that'll probably put so much stress on him that he's going to start f***ing off or, you know, just making dumb decisions anyway. So it's good to know that Kuroko, he, he also is paying very good attention. Uh, his other teammates' state of being Damn. Damn. Oh, he's one of those coaches, is he? Oh. They have a weakness. Ah, oh, shit. That's the generation of miracles for you. They're catching this shit within five minutes. Right. After 40 minutes. Yeah. Like, Kuroko's whole strategy isn't magic. Eventually, the team gets used to it, right? They're going to pay attention to him. More he uses it. Yeah. Like, eventually, people are going to watch him. Because it's like, damn, this guy's a pain in the ass. We got to, we got to, like, know where he's at. So, yeah, it makes sense that it wears off. It's very much like, you know... The first, what, I guess he said 40 minutes of the game. Considering that right now, they threw him in at the very beginning, it has its limits. And especially with somebody like uh, Kisei, who knows Kuroko's ability, uh, it's going to put some more trouble onto it. Like, maybe he'd focus harder on Kuroko, right? Like, he knows what Kuroko's deal is, the misdirection. So it, eventually, once everybody gets used to that, that's a problem for us, right? So yeah, th that sucks. But I do just want to praise Kuroko for being able to put that up for like 40 minutes. Like you'd think of after, what, five, 10 minutes, the team, the enemy team would get used to it, right? They'd be like, okay, this Kuroko guy, this number 11, we cannot like risk letting him out of our sight. We need to know where he is. Forget looking at the ball, look at him. So the fact that, I don't know, Kuroko knows his craft so well enough that he can misdirect even after that long of a period of time. Like, hey, like, boy, I, I got mad respect for Kuroko. Like, I understand why he's part of the generation of miracles when, you know, it has people like Kisei and people better than Kisei on it. <laughs> no, don't kill him. You didn't ask. <laughs> man to man to zone defense. Okay. Stop Kisei. Yeah, focus on Kisei. Okay. Kagami to stop Kisei. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I was going to say, like, the rest of the team is definitely, like, it's not like Kisei is the main player it's not like he's carrying the entire team right just because he's he is definitely the best player on the team doesn't mean the others aren't good that you don't got to worry about him yeah come on oh shit yeah it's wearing off right they notice him That was a weird interaction. What should we do? What should we do, man? It's like, yeah. <laughs> Acknowledge. Ooh. Years. I, I would say that. Sport of size. Yeah. 
Your team. Too great. Oh, what? They're f- like their physique? Is that what he means? I don't think he means size, right? Because he knows Kodoko is a good player. He he just means the this like the potential that the entire body has, like what the coach always sees with the numbers around. She can see like someone's top potential or you know whatever you want to call it, their ability. So I think that's kind of what he's referring to is just you know ours our potential is much higher than yours. It's not like this team is going to get any better. Your team is going to, you know, improve enough to go up against ours anytime soon. But I'm going to stick with what I said in the first episode. Like, you know, the whole being able to see someone's like overall ability, being able to see what their top limit is. I feel like that's just bull. Like, I feel like that's going to get broken so easily. You're, you're focusing on the physical ability, but you, you're probably underestimating the mental like ability. Cause you know, if you're mentally into something, then you're going to push yourself, man. Like physique don't matter. Like, well, it does a little bit, but I feel like, you know, people can push beyond that limit when they're really into it. Never beat me. Uh, yeah. Oh, are you sure about that? I wouldn't say it's easy, but I'm saying we're going to do it. Yeah. Kagami's like, uh, Load of bull. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh, this man crazy? Man's crying. <laughs> He's like, finally, man. Over there in the States? Yeah. Oh, now he's interested. He's like, yo, I want to hear about this. Crazy, really? Yeah. He's like, finally, somebody challenging me. It's better if I can't win. He's like, that makes it even more motivating. Invisible basketball style. That's right. It's like, we got shit that you'll never have. Hell yeah. See, that Kagami is showing faith in his own team. He's not being a selfish prick. Is that it? Oh, shit. Okay. Frick, I'm surprised. I did not think that that match was going to go into a double episode. But hey, I mean, I'm fine with that. Shit, yeah. But no, that was that was good. I really enjoyed that last little part there with uh, Kagami actually sticking up for his own team. He's like, it's not just me, man. You also got Kuroko here. So, and obviously that's not him sticking up for the entire team. But that shows that he has what it takes to not be, like, he's not focused on his own ability. He's not like, yeah, I'm going to beat you. I myself am going to get better enough to beat you. It's my team is going to be better enough, is going to get better. I don't want to say get better because it seems like he already has faith that he could maybe win this match. So maybe he's already saying, like, my team is better than yours, but in other aspects, like, your athleticism is better than the rest of our team, like, you know, as a whole, maybe. But we have shit, we have stuff that you don't have, like the invisibility that Kodoko brings. And then Kisei, he's also, he's saying like, oh, Kodoko has a weakness, it only works after a little bit. And Kodoko did admit that. But that's just kind of him assuming, like, he doesn't know Kodoko. He doesn't know if Kodoko's improved since they last saw each other. So it is very much kind of Kisei being a little, you know, full of himself, thinking he knows everything about it, thinking he just kind of, that the, the that our team doesn't understand the uh, gap between them. But we do. But it's not just that gap. It's not just that physique gap that we're going up again. We got shit that you don't. Like, you don't have to just focus on one aspect of the game. It's like, you got to focus on the many different parts. It's not just a, it's not just a physical ability. It's also a skill set. It's also a teamwork. It's also a just, you know, hard work that's been put into it. I just feel like that's kind of what they were saying with Kisei. He's, he's talking all this crap about us, the, his team being better and that our team will never get to that level because, you know, it's everyone has their limit with how big they can get, with how strong they can get. But never know, man. You really never know. 
And I hope that that is him underestimating and that we can just smoke the guy. But I, like I said earlier, I do have a bit of a feeling that we might not win this match. <laughs> like, I know that's really, like, that's kind of bad of me to say right off the bat. But it's just that vibe I'm getting. Uh, it could prove me wrong. It's just with a lot of, like, sports shows, sports animes that I've seen, it's very much, like, the first ever match that we play, we lose. The first ever actual match, even if it is just a practice one. Um, we lose it because it, it helps to motivate the team to be better, to work harder, to beat them the next time, right? So, and I really doubt that we are going to beat one of the generation of miracles just in a practice match. Like, they're going to save that shit for, like, a tournament or something. They ain't going to do it on episode, what, four next episode? I, I highly doubt that they're going to beat him. Unless they make some excuse for maybe Kisei, like, maybe they'll win. And then Kisei will learn. He's like, shit, I underestimated these guys. I'm not going to do that again. And then whenever they're against him in like an official match, it's going to be even tougher. Like it's going to be even more brutal. So that could be the route that they're going. But just off of like experience that I've been in, it seems like, you know, they might, they might lose our team. So that's okay though, because it is only going to be episode four or maybe five. I don't know how long it's going on for. But still, you know, we got, I don't know, this, this season is actually pretty big, I think. It's like 25 episodes, maybe longer. I, I really don't know. But uh, yeah, we got plenty of time to be better, to improve, to learn. And another reason why I just think that maybe we won't really win is because we haven't gotten a whole ton of character development yet. I've kind of been waiting these, like, for the past two episodes, I've been waiting to kind of get to learn the other characters. I don't want to say that they, it's not it's not good that they're, the route that they're going with kind of getting us into a match, blah, blah, blah. But I would have preferred to kind of meet the characters a little bit more. We know Kodoko. We know Kagami. Um, we do know the coach a little bit, even though I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really terrible with her name. I cannot ever, like, I cannot remember it. That's the one that I need to actually Google or I need to see it in an episode to kind of remember. So I am sorry about that, but I do like her character a lot. I really do. Um, it's just, yeah, we, we only really know those three. And I want to kind of get to know the captain a little bit more. I want to get to know the other teammates. Uh, because that's kind of... Then we can really get those epic moments in game. Where it's like, we know what these guys are going through. We know their struggles. What they're, what they're having trouble with. And we can see them working on it. We can see them kind of beating it maybe, but we aren't quite there yet. It is still so early on, like I said. So they'll probably save that for a little bit later. They'll they'll get us into the characters. I, I know that they will, right? Like it's almost definite that each teammate is gonna get some sort of backstory, some sort of motivation that is gonna help us to cheer them on more. Uh, it's just right now having Kagami and Kodoko, it is good enough. But I'm hoping, you know, at least the captain. I, I like the captain's character, too, from what we've seen of him. He takes it seriously, but he's also, like, he, he just seems like a cool guy. I, I like him. But I will give props to uh, Kisei because he is, obviously, being part of the Generation of Miracles. He's, he's a great player, right? Like, his physique is, what, top charts, like what the coach said. So, obviously, he's going to be, like, the toughest player we go up against. And probably he's the toughest already of the season right like i can't imagine we're getting into another miracles character already maybe maybe i shouldn't i shouldn't make those predictions because i could be proven wrong in like two episodes for all i know it very much seems like he might be the motivation for kagami uh like kagami will want to beat him this season that'll be his his goal and then they'll move on to like the next miracle the next miracle and so on uh, same with Kodoko too. They, they, he just wants, they, they have the same goals, him and Kagami. So it just, uh, I imagine, you know, that he's going to be sort of the focus for a little bit. So it makes sense that he is an incredibly good player, the best. Like, I'm sure we'll go up against other teams that don't have the Generation of Miracles, like just practice matches or just whatever. And I hope that they go up against some tough players on those too, sort of to like build themselves up. I'd prefer if it wasn't like a, against a miracle, then immediately against a miracle, then immediately against a miracle. I think we need to have like those in-between matches to sort of get them, like to, to make it more believable that these guys are getting in the practice they need in order to beat these like top tier characters, these top tier players, sorry. 
So I'm, I'm guessing that'll be the case. Yeah, I, I'm only saying this because I really am surprised that we are already in a practice match against one of the Miracles. Like, that, that was a lot quicker than I thought it was going to be. Not that I'm complaining, but still, like, you know, the boys need their practice, right? I really enjoyed the beginning of this match. It was impressive, for sure. Like, Kuroko and Kagami, they held their own really good. Kagami, ripping that hoop off the basket, like, or ripping that basket off the hoop, or is it... I don't know. Ripping it off the backboard, though. That was cool. That was, like... Fuck, man. If I did that, if I accidentally ripped, like, a hoop off of a backboard, man, I'd be shitting my pants. I'd be like, fuck. Fuck. <laughs> oh, shit, I'm gonna have to pay for that, too. No. <laughs> but, no, it was a good way of showing the coach, like, do not underestimate us. They did that within two seconds, bro. Like, literally within two seconds of starting the game, they made it across the court and ripped the hoop off of the backboard. It's like, that's just disrespectful. Honestly. No, really impressive. Uh, I'm glad that they showed them up like immediately. It's like, yeah, don't, don't underestimate us. Like we are in this, we are serious about this. Very good episode. I, re I really enjoyed that match. It's the first match. So yeah, it, it's really doing good so far. Loving the passes between Kuroko, uh, loving, you know, Kagami's dunks, everything he's doing, all the all the powerful shit that he gets up to. It's it's really good so far. I'm really I'm I have a really good vibe about the matches in this series. Like they're just gonna be some satisfying things, right? So yeah, if you guys enjoyed, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you want to stay updated on this series or any of my other series that I'm doing. I'm currently doing Made in Abyss, which is an awesome anime so far, really digging it. Comment down below your thoughts on this series, the video, whatever you want to say, just no spoilers, obviously. And yeah, that's going to be it. So I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll talk to you all later. Peace.